Okay, fellas, when we go up, be careful on the cement and be careful on the tile when we go in the building, all right? Take our time down to the room. It's our day, it's our game, our field. We're not letting them come in and take anything. Pressure's a privilege. If you're lucky to be here, save the moment, fly around, make our game. Divis on me, Divis on three, one, two, three, Divis! Oh yeah, I'm yes, ready. Sir. We're gonna bring it to these boys today. They ain't got nothing on us. We've been training since this, for this since summer. But we're gonna bring it, show what we've been working for all year. Yes sir. So, Let's play a watch us. Mean to you. Uh, it means a lot. I mean, all my family's been playing football since they were younger and so it really means a lot to hopefully make it to state and be one of the better ones in my family, so. You gotta come out here today, punch me in the mouth early, right? Starts with us, it's gonna end with us. It's snowy, gotta protect the running backs and the quarterback, right? Gotta push them back, gotta win the line, like Coach said. Let's get it done. Go fuck them up today, let's go. Hey, hugs on me, hugs on three. One, two, three, hugs! I think last night when we had our alumni in to talk to us, that word probably became even more relevant. Okay. We are because of us, right? And there's a lot of guys that are around the state, around the country, wherever they might be, that have worn these uniforms that are <laughs> with you today. They have been with you all season, watch you from afar. Okay? I get messages every week, give them my best, coach. Give them hell, coach. Your guys are playing their butts off, coach. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So as much as it's about the history and tradition of the program, more than anything, it's about you guys. The guys in this room, the blood, sweat, and tears you put in to get to this point. You guys play eight home games this year because of what you did. Let's finish it off right. Let's finish it off right. Okay. Go out there, play with great pride, play with great courage. Don't be afraid of anything. You earn the right to be on your field eight times, and we get the right to send that home today. Off of our field. So earn it one more time. Earn it one more time. I'm proud of you. I love you all. <laughs>
Let's go, guys. Mindset was just we got to pound the rock, we got to get up, we got to be the more physical team. I mean, it was cold earlier, sun's out now, but I mean, we just had to come out and be the more physical dominant team, and that's what we did. Let's say about your team to get to take the lead early and kind of keep that there and keep momentum on your it, side. It just is great. I mean, we persevere. There are bad calls. There were maybe like some big plays that they had, and we just kept going, kept persevering. Our team chemistry is great. I love all my teammates. When that clock went zero zero zero, and you knew you were going to state, what was your first reaction? Oh, it was just great. I mean, we just knew that we're going going to the dance, and we got one more chance, one more week of practice, and everything. What's it mean to go to state championship right now and have the opportunity to win a state championship? Oh, it means it means everything. I mean, people have been people have been working for this for the last four years. Um, I mean, everybody's just been doing their best. What's it say about the pride of your team right now to do the hard work and kind of get where your, where your goal was right now? Oh, it's just great. I mean, our defense got big stops when we needed it. Our offense put the ball in the end zone, had great alignment up front, great wide receivers making plays. Everybody's just doing great. Um, we're relentless. We're relentless, and we're going to keep going. Now you have a chance to win state, state. What would it mean to win state? And kind of what's your mindset? Oh, it would be it would be great. I mean, we just want to make history at Holy Family, be the first team to win 3A state championship, and that's what we're going to try to do. How far can this team go? We're going to go win it. <laughs> Thanks. They've been role models for me my whole life, and coming into the season, we all had our plan that we're going to go to state, and I promised, I promised my dad in July that we were going to go and we were going to win it. So. It means a lot to have him as not only my dad on the field, but as a mentor and as a coach. So yeah. How does it feel knowing you're you got that trip to Pueblo secured? It means a lot. It means a lot. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, I mean, going to state has been my dream since I was a little kid, um, and with all my my best buddies on the field with me, it means it means a lot. What, is it, what do you think it says about this team? How great this team is that Brylin can go out and have a great game. You have a great game. You got, you know, number 10 yeah. go two picks, <laughs> one in the game. Um, it's, this is unlike any team I've ever been a part of. Um, obviously, I mean, we have guys that make plays all over the field. Um, when one of us isn't having our best game, another guy steps up. Um, and this team, Thompson Valley was a great team. Um, they did a great job of, you know, stuff in the run, but we were able to adjust and do everything we could to win, and so that's what it took. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it was, it was, I honestly was in shock. I didn't have a reaction. It's, 
it's, yeah, I, it was crazy. I just seen 21-7 on the board, knowing we're going to go to Pueblo. It's, I mean, every kid wants that. So. Has it sunk in your going to state yet? And if so, what that moment, what's that moment going to be like? Yeah, it, it sunk in a few minutes ago. Um, it's the best feeling in the world. I mean, it's like, it's better than Christmas. You know, it's, it's incredible. Um, I'm just excited to, excited to be there next weekend. Moving forward, what would it mean to win a state championship for this team and bring them back to the school in the city? It'd be huge. Um, it hasn't been here in 17 years. Um, and if this team's going to do it, it's going to be this team. So. What's your, what, how far can this team go? This team can go all the way. Right, we'll go all the way. We've been close a couple times. In 2020, we were in the, the semifinals, and this year just it just felt a little different, and I don't I can't explain it. Um, it's just been different. So. What makes this team, do you think, better than that team? I wouldn't say better. Um, I think the, the playing field is, is different than it was then. Um, you know, we've, we've run into some teams like, I mean, that Durango team had several D1 kids, and, you know, we've run into a lot of teams like that, and I don't know that that exists right now in, in 3A, so we're, we're in a better spot. We've got, we're able to play kids one way instead of both ways, which I think is huge for us this year. Um, and just a tribute to the boys and how hard they've worked to be able to do that. Well, thanks so much, Coach. Coach, you know, Clockman 0 and you knew you were going to state championship. What was your first reaction? <laughs> uh, just sheer emotion. It's been a long time, and, you know, this has been a goal of, of mine and, and my son, who's a uh, senior for his career, but for my entire career, so. Just, it was emotional for a few minutes, and I had to kind of rein it in and remember there was another team, and they were, they, what a great team Thompson Valley has been, and what a great season for them. So just, it was emotional. I'm excited for the boys. I'm excited for my coaches and my families, and uh, get another shot, get a shot at the championship. Last question, you, have, you, have a chance to bring, you do have a chance to bring the championship back. What do it mean to bring one back to this school and this community right now? Man, we've had a lot in different sports over the years and it, you know when when football wins a championship it just changes the culture of the building and sets the year off right so to bring it back this year would be huge for our school our program and our families